Welcome to the Harris Show. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem Harris, and I'm with my sister and co-host, Miss Angie Ange. What's up? Right. And today we are joined by my brother, Jaquil Speaks, whatever the fuck he goes by, because he be wow. changing it all the time. We're also joined by Jake. <laughs> Jamal doesn't give friendly welcomes, I swear. Definitely Just not. Just to you know what I'm saying? The people know me too. now. First of all, we're recording. <laughs> I'm trying to verify it on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you. Mark me, baby. You can do the intro. <laughs> the intro is you can do it. Um. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys some random questions that I found. And I'm giving Instagram random answers. And Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, I've already prepared myself for y'all. <laughs> Just, you know. All right. So, I'm a civilized human being, so we'll be fine. Okay. They've seen you on the other sh- episodes, Jaquil. All right. Where's the worst place to get your card declined? Ooh. Yeah, I've got my card declined at uh, a restaurant with somebody. That shit's pretty... Were you on a date? Yeah. I think it depends. Uh, so, fucking Bank of America, I had I kept sliding my card throughout the day, so they thought it was fraud. Like, somebody stole my card. Yeah. And when I got to the restaurant, I was like... Because I got paid, too. So I was like, all right, whatever. We good. I slid my card. I was like, sir, uh, your card's not working. I was like, I just got paid. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like your car's not working. So I had to go to the ATM, pull out money, and then I had to call Bank of America and be like, hey, can you take this hold off of me? I'm using it. I bought all these things. But it was embarrassing. Like, ugh. Ooh. I ain't none that night for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Look, I'm going to tell you right now, it's all about why it got declined. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I had to learn the hard way and it ain't never happened to me again and it won't ever happen again. I had, but I had to find out certain credit unions work like that. You can leave your city limits and make a big expenditure and I, and you'll get that phone call. And if you out and doing stuff, you might not answer it because it's a random 800-888 number or whatever. And they deactivated your card because you spent it in a place that you normally don't spend it and it's outside the zip code. And if you take a plane ticket and go outside the state, it's definitely not going going through every time. So yeah. all these expenditures have to be verified, and they'll call you and say, hey, did you spend this, this, this? And you got to go, yes, 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 and now you can keep spending. And then they'll hit you again, all that. I had to find that out the hard way. I was out with a group of people. It was mostly women. It was like eight of us at a table in L.A. somewhere. I had already swiped from a hotel, already swiped from a rental car. We out having fun. We on like the second or third day. Now we out eating dinner. And she hit me with the boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and then the coldest part is, it's different if you're at like Denny's and everybody in line and then you go one at a time and people kind of talking in the back. So they not really paying attention. That's different. It's like I'm in front of everybody standing up at, at the table as the waitress and she handed everybody they receipt back and when she got to me she didn't have no receipt she just had oh, his busted ass car. Like, hey, uh, it didn't go through now i wasn't go further embarrass myself and go run it again <laughs> for her to go we ran it five times already i'm not so i'm not gonna pull that one so now i'm on some how does this not work i, I know i got what's what happened you know and then it's that verified expenditure and i, I had to nod a phone call while i'm at the table i'm not answering this i, I don't know you so I had cash on me and I pulled it out and paid and just paid in cash. So from that moment on, anytime before I go out on a date or anywhere else, I always go, hey, man, I know this is good. I know it works. I'm, I might even call my bank. Hey, I'm going out of town. <laughs> hey, this is me, you know. So and I'll get enough cash, too, to spend. And if mm. I feel like something crazy going to happen, I'm just going to pay with the cash, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'll just use the card for the big thing. Where you where they have to run it through right there on the spot, like a hotel or something, or a rental car. But that that's that's scary. That's like that feeling you get when the cops behind you or something like that. Or you took a test and you know you didn't study. Stuff like that. It's one of them. It's just your gut just go. Oh, you know, that's tough. Uh, for me, I think the worst one is 
when I was shopping with an ex and we was, I was, you know how I'd be shopping. I just be grabbing stuff that seemed mm -hmm. cool. I'd be like, oh, I like this, I like this. And I was like, oh, I got a little bit of money, you know, I just got paid. And we in the line and we're in, where were, I think we were in H&M before the whole drama. That's <laughs> and, what went wrong right there. Well, here's the thing. I was like, I need, I was like, I need shirts, I need hats, right? So I'm in there and- All they got is mediums in H&M. I was a medium. <laughs> I was a medium, I know. <laughs> you know, I can't be doing that now, but um, we was in line and there had to be about six or seven people behind us. Ooh. And I went, I went, oh, let me get out these people's way, right? Let me just buy it and go. So she swiped my card, right? And I got like four cards because I got a debit, credit, and then I have my nonprofit stuff cards. And so I swiped that thing, right? And I'm talking to my partner. I'm like, yeah, girl, you know, we can go eat after this. And then the lady tries to whisper it to me. And I think that's what made it worse. She said, your car was declined. <laughs> and I did this. I did, uh, run it, run it, run it again, run it again. No. Because Bank of America, you know, the strip be all messed up. So I don't know, run it again. Put the numbers in. <laughs> <laughs> run it again. And she ran it again. And she was like, it's not working. And I said, I just got paid. And I was, I was overreact. I just got paid. You out here trying to tell me that I'm broke? And so I didn't even think it was the bank. I called my boss and was all like, hey, did y'all direct deposit my check? They're like, you kill, we don't handle direct deposits. That's HR and blah, blah, blah. And I was tripping. And I was like, man, uh. and then so I was like, all right, here. And I paid it with my, my debit card. And I was just like, man, I don't know what's going on with this. Blah, blah, blah. Call Bank of America. They put a hold on my account because they're like, you don't shop at H&M. See? Like, the expenditure was like I'm with, them. Bucks. I'm with them. You don't stop at H&M. Put a hold on like, Hey, Bank of America be doing that. They did that to me, and I told them I was going to D.C. You know, you can put the dates that you're going. Yeah. yeah. But I, I guess I didn't put the day that I was returning, like, home. So I tried to buy something in the airport, and it was, like, decline. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the? It was just orange juice. So I was like, man, this is, like, $4. Wow. And I was like, I know I got more. I got at least four dollars. I ain't never been <laughs> that like, What? Four dollars? I was like, I'll just pay cash. And I had to call them like, Yo, what is going on? Like, I'm going home. This is me. My car wasn't stolen. Bank of America stayed doing that though. Even when I they tell sure them, I went to Vegas, they did it to me. And I, now I just pull cash out and was like, forget it. I ain't dealing with it. Like, I'll have, cash is always good. So I just pull cash out whenever I go somewhere now because Bank of America stay holding me on that. Like, they it'll that matter if I tell them or not, they still gonna do it to me. Yeah, that's tough. I think that's what really helped a lot of people that be having nineteen ninety nine in their account. But you can <laughs> you go to these places and you can use Apple Pay and Google Pay and all that. So now you just transferring that seven or eight nine dollars. It's easy now. Now you ain't got to play yourself out with that. I hope my card go through. <laughs> yeah, and I think too like. What's really helped is Venmo's really helped. Yeah. I've been able to be like, like when I went to um, Louisiana, when I went to Louisiana, my bank card won't be, well, it wouldn't work at the gas station because I was in Albuquerque. And they were like, what you doing at Albuquerque? You don't be in Albuquerque. And I was like, I'm driving, you know? And I was like, dang. So I had to go to one of my, the people I went with, was like, hey, Venmo me, right? And then I'll use my Venmo card because the money's on there. And then, man, it was a hot mess because I was like, man, if we ain't got no gas, we ain't going nowhere. So <laughs> yeah, that's we, dumb. Just take it all back to cash. Forget all these credit cards, man. Yeah. All back to cash. Cash is always king. Yeah. Yep. Cash rules everything. All right. Speaking of cash, <laughs> um, if you ask someone on a date, do you expect them to pay? Yep. yep. Whoa! Yeah, that Whoa. Was way too quick. What do you mean? Hold on, bring yeah. it back. Bring Can it back. Question? Bring it back. <laughs> you what was Jamal listening to? I don't know how you didn't. Someone on a date. You I, asked I, I someone. I zoned the fuck out. I literally zoned the fuck out. <laughs> okay, if you ask someone on a date, do you expect your date to pay? Yes. It depends Why? on how the date goes. They eating it. They it's eat their food. <laughs> it's their <laughs> food that they're eating. <laughs> Look, both I people, for something, I'm not them. eating. Both of y'all got to come ready to pay. We don't know what, where this date is going. I okay. might not like you after we get yeah. the, the, the water, the water and the bread come out. I might already done fell off. And I'm like, all right, I got to find a way out of this. She might have fell off. 
she might have been, you look cool, but in person, you kind of whack. So now let me just struggle through and get this free meal or I'm trying to get up out of here and go on my next date because I had, you know, I got other opportunities than you. So people are trying to get out of it. Well, at that point, I think we need to make an amical split. You go your way, I go my way, and then there's no advantage being taken. But if you, like, really, really want to treat her and you really, really like her, hey, go ahead, run your money. Yes. But this is a, we trying to figure out each other, trying to get to know each other. Both people need to come ready to pay. That's what I'm going to say. So do you think that conversation needs to be had before y'all go on a date? No, I think that should be universal known. Like, if No, the, because does, I think if someone asks me on a date, they should pay. If the date doesn't go good and y'all both are agreeing that this shit ain't working, why should I have to pay for no. both of us? When a free I'm, meal? So I you want a free I'm meal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for nobody's free meal. <laughs> oh, if don't make me bring names up because you will. <laughs> Don't make me start naming names. Yeah, because there's a couple of people who we people. know. Yeah, these ain't dates. I'm just talking about people. Yeah, I know people. See, that's the thing. When, and here's the, but there's a big difference, right? If I yeah. know, yeah. like, all right, we're going out to eat with a group of people. If I can afford to pay for people who can't afford to pay for themselves, I could do that, right? <laughs> if we're friends and it's just like one of those things that we just – you know, we've done it before. Just, oh, I got you this time. Oh, I got you this time. But if I ask you to come eat with me, there's an expectation that I have that you know you about to eat too. <laughs> oh, ka-ching, ka-ching, what you about to eat? Because if I, <laughs> here's the standard. Because here's the standard. If I say, let's go on a date, right? Because here's the problem, right? If I say, let's go on a date, you go, yeah, right? And I go, oh, you choose the place, you know, eat whatever you want, right? If you may, expecting me to pay, and I put a per certain price limit on you, I'm the bad person in the situation. Exactly. If I go, nah, $10.99 only. <laughs> Dollar menu okay, only. If you're telling someone, get whatever you want, yada, 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 you're already putting it out there that you're going to pay. No, I say get whatever you want because it's coming out of your pocket. See, no, that's misleading. <laughs> that's not misleading. If I'm like, oh, I really want to take you out, I'll pay for it. But if it's like, hey, like, let's go on a date. Let's see if we like each other. Like, you you may be like, oh, I may not like him. I may like him. And I'm not about to be like, oh, I know she like me. Ten, here's here's a free meal. No. You may <laughs> not like, like me. That. There's a lot of people who don't <laughs> like me who go, who've gone on dates with me. <laughs> hey, imagine being in our world where we're <laughs> always paying for dates, but we got the same check that we get in every few weeks, every month. It's the same check. But what if I go on five dates this month? And I paid for all of them, and they all were zeros. Like we didn't, we were not compatible. Those are all five dates that just money in the drain. And then I'm doing this every month on the regular as a man. Imagine that part of life. So in this whole expected, I have to pay. I thought we were moving in a progressive manner and getting past traditionalism. Why can't that part ever be past traditional values? But I also feel like if I asked someone on a date, I would pay. It's, it's I like, hear that all the time, and you know what I never hear? How many times have you asked a dude out on a date <laughs> for your entire life? Add them up, because the number you come up with, that's how many dates dudes ask women out on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Oh, I don't so, know. Maybe. Duds. I don't <laughs> Yeah, I don't pay for some girls that I'm like, I know for a fact ain't nothing going to happen. But I, yeah. know that, I know in the middle of the day, just how women know that if they're giving you something, I knew in the middle of the day, this ain't going nowhere. She dumb. But I still have to Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Dumb? What is that? What is that? <laughs> but I didn't want to say the other stuff that I, I, <laughs> I'm not oh, a better person. This, guy, this guy's going too far. I'm not going to go with that one. I can't agree with that and, and Look, it's from another word that I want to use. <laughs> Hold up. What letter does the word start with? <laughs> Not this letter. Let's start with the alphabet. A, B. A like letter in the alphabet. Um, okay, all right. But, but the thing is, I don't, I don't want to pay for nothing. If I if we're not going nowhere, I'm not paying. Uh, What's yeah. the point? It's like, if I ask you on a date, Right, and the date at my house, and we're just hanging out and stuff like that. Do you expect me to cook for you, nigga? What are y'all gonna eat? <laughs> Why didn't you eat before you came? What? <laughs> no, 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 hey, listen. We're hanging out. Listen to the logic. Listen to the logic. Did you wake up this morning? Didn't eat. Did you go all through the afternoon? Didn't eat. 
Like, all you doing is waiting on 7.28 p.m. for your Uber to show up or for him to come pick you up, and he's supposed to fill you up for the whole day. Like, is that your like, expectation? I feel like I'm those, not understanding where you're at right now. I feel like those things have to be communicated. If you're like, yo, come over, hang out. I'm going to be like, oh, are we going to grab something to eat? What are, what are, what? That's different. I'm going to ask if I get there. <laughs> hold up. No, so, you're going off of that like traditional thing. You know what's supposed to happen at the end of the night? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The that girl is supposed to be right. <laughs> no. that, that's not no, no. Come on. People who want the they want the values of all the old stuff, but they don't want they want it to an extent. Like, the advantages uh, of tradition okay. is what a lot of people want. Stuff. And now, and now this is on both sides. Men, men and women want the advantages of tradition. So, yeah. it, but in dating, there's so many advantages traditionally that lean towards the women. Traditionally, that 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 we still kind of use today as a society. So, some of those advantages for men are no, no longer able to be used, or you know, you might be seen as a caveman or something or a clown. So, a lot of that has been moved past. But this expectation of pain, we're all adults. Everybody's supposed to be equal. There's so many, you know, uh, so many advancements for women in the workplace. I mean, the dollar amount of what people are being paid is still a little different. But can't, uh, uh, you know what? A, you know what? A black man can't bring up on a date as an argument. Black men make less on the dollar than everybody in the country by demographic. You can't bring that statistic up. But yeah. you can bring up that women make less on the dollar than white men, not than men, than white men. So that can be used. So why can't I bring up my demographic making less on the dollar than all these other people? You can, as long as you're taking the check at the end. <laughs> See, look at this. Look at this. Look at Here's this. another That's thing, though. If That's she right. makes more money than me and I ask her on the date, why am I still expecting this? more thing? money than you on the first date. Oh, we gonna we know. We talked about it. We gonna, we gonna know. <laughs> The fact that she's going on a date with me, she knows what my job is. I know what her job is. Okay. I didn't just walk up to her and be like, oh, I want to take you on a date. It's like, nah, I'm going to get your number. And then we talk. And then I'm like, oh, so this is what you do for a living. And she going to know she make more money than me. So if she agreed to the date, she's automatically agreeing to taking me out on a date. And no. <laughs> no. So why, can't, why can't you understand that logic, but you understand yours? So I we can repeat the same thing you're ask. saying, and it sounds crazy. I so whoever like asks should be paying. Should be paying. I can agree with that. All right, I have a question. I have a question for you, Nana. So if you're yeah. with your friends, right, and they're like, let's go get something to eat, are you mm -hmm. expecting your friends to pay? Sometimes. Well, sometimes we get each other, though. We're like, no, I got to Are you expecting them to pay? They ask you to go eat. Are you expecting them to pay? No. So why is exactly. it for dating? Why, why is it with the date? My friends. Why does it change with dating? Because if Yeah, you're but you're not... The person that you're going on a date with may be not a person you're going to be dating in the future. Okay, but what if they are? Okay, well, if they are, it's a different thing. 98% of the time, they end up not being the person you end up with. Yeah, because if you keep dating them, then there's other opportunities for you to pay for a date. Yeah. Okay. If it's this one date, why is it... Why can't the first date be the 50-50 date? And then if you decide... It can. Now, it can. It works with different people. Yeah, but I'm talking That's about you, because you said... You said <laughs> I said, don't bring other people. We talking about you. See that? You see the deflection? <laughs> other people. No, no, no. Yo ass. <laughs> Why? It's an attack on me. I'm just saying, if you ask me on a date, I'm expecting you to pay. Okay. I'm, of course, I'm going to have my own money just in case it don't go like that. But. Have All right. I got a question, too. If the dude says, let's go 50 50 on uh -huh. a date. Uh oh, would you go on a date with him still? If I like him, you see, if you didn't serious? like him, you would still go oh, on a yeah. date for a free meal. No, I'm not gonna say I haven't done it. Oh my god, <laughs> wow. Okay, what? Watch, watch this. Let watch this though. Hey, <laughs> hey, fellas, raise your hand if you ever been asked on a date and only went just to get a free meal from her. You see what how that don't what, exist? What am I eating? <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying like I my intention wasn't was it go get the free milk, but like halfway through I was like, you know what? I, I, told, I know a story that you told me about 
the dude at the cheesecake factory. Oh, uh oh, uh-oh. receipts. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna bring that up. That's what the one I'm talking question. about, though. That's the one I'm talking about. Question. <laughs> See? See, you playing yourself out. How about yeah, everybody show up ready to pay? And the standard today, with all the progressive uh, attitude, the standard today should be whatever two people go on a date, whether you uh-huh. ask first or whether you get asked, both show up ready to pay for their part. If it doesn't work out well or they're not going to go on a second date, they should split it right there. But mm-hmm. if they're going to pursue further, then they should take turns taking each other places. That's fair. What's yeah. wrong with being fair? That's fair. Because, like, and I think, too, like, I have zero problem paying for a date. If oh. I know that I'm going to be continuing dating this person, mm-hmm. right? But if I'm going into a date and then halfway in, I'm like, there's no way that we're going to pursue each other further. I'm at least going to make it clear to them, you got yourself, right? <laughs> hey, hey, hey okay. I haven't done that. Wait, how do you, <laughs> you got- Wait, how, that's something like, how do you go about doing that? Exactly like that. shows up and you go, okay, I had, I, <laughs> I had the prize. And it depends on where I'm at. Like, if you at like a place that has a little tablet thing, you just go ahead and hit the split to check yourself. You know oh what I'm going to go ahead and pay for myself right now. Let <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. me just get me. Don't they worry about it. Control. I'll tip them. Don't even worry about it. You got your control. Jaquel. What? That's the thing. I'm at the point, right, where oh, the no people who I'm. <laughs> The We're people who I'm dating, if they can't get themselves, <laughs> then I'm sorry. I got to test the waters. You feel me? Split the check. How much she got? If I she mean, goes, oh, I can't uh, I can't get this. I'm going to be like, all right, I'm going to pay for it, but I know where you stand now because I'm not about to look like I can't pay for this. I'm going to be like, so. hey, they'll let you bust them dishes in the back. You can park <laughs> oh, them in the cars. Nice. You clean the table. Like, <laughs> here's the thing. As you, as you progress and get older, mm-hmm. like, that starts to change for dudes. So now I can put just for the record, every date I've been on, I paid for it yep. in life Same. every day. Same. But that don't change the way I feel about this situation. I would rather everybody come in ready to pay. And if it mm-hmm. don't work out, we should split it. So I agree. You know, I agree. Because every day I've been on, I've paid with no problem, no hesitation. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. Ate that. We, I took you out. We drove. Boom. But Whatever. then you had that thought in your head on the way back. She got like, me. damn, I could have used that ten dollars. <laughs> she got me. I'm done. <laughs> got me. I knew she didn't like me. It was too. Yep, and then you start texting you like she didn't even go on the signs. I know midway through the date if it's good or not. Like, yeah. Like, or I, and I like I'd be like, oh, she kind of annoying, but I can't be like in the middle of the day like you're kind of annoying. So let's split. You know, you can't say that. Oh, <laughs> now I've left dates. I've ended the date. I paid for it, but I got up and left. Like no. eight or nine minutes in. All right, this ain't work. I'm out of here. Wait. I ain't never done that. I That's have wild. never. Well, y'all better I than me. It. You're, you're better people than me. I suck, I'm I suck it out. How do you, how do, wait. So do you just be like, you know what? I'm not feeling this. I'm going to pay and go. No, no, no. That was like a bad energy, a distance. She was more concerned with stuff that I'm not concerned with. We couldn't even have a conversation. Mm. And you know, it was just it our our energy just didn't match and then our conversation didn't match. We were yeah. on totally two different things. It was just we both attracted to each other. We kind of thought each other was okay, cool, but showing up in this one on one situation did not work. All right, I'm out of here. You know what? I had something else to do anyway. Dang. And I went and did something else. So I couldn't that that just didn't work out. So uh, and then, even after I say it a little bit right there before it ended, afterwards, I sent a message and said everything detailed. We don't get along well. This don't work. You know, it's cool. Thank you for coming out. But, you know, this is the part of dating as well. You don't get along sometimes. That's fine. We don't match. So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not, I told her I'm never going to contact you ever again. If I see you, <laughs> if I see you cool, I'll say what's up. But that's it. There's not going to be no contact. I'm deleting your number. This is the end. Thank you for your time. I don't know if it was necessary to you tell you. Hey, it's no, no, that's necessary. Because you know what? That's so necessary. That's yes. Not she necessary. needs to know that I don't really feel her like that. I wasn't tripping that day, or mm. I got a wife on the side. She needs uh-huh. to know. 
everything. So now you can't come back and say, well, this guy just ghosted me. You know how many times I've been told that? Because I wasn't this detailed and that clear. So I had to start doing that. And now I get to be. Can't you just realize I'm not feeling this? Yeah. I personally don't have a problem because I'm not worried about nothing happening to me. Usually, (laughs) I would definitely tell you how I feel and be out. You say usually. Usually. (laughs) Same here. I'd be like, so. Girls are crazy. Like, they'll stab you and stuff when you're sleeping. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So I don't ever let people know where I live. I just be like, "Is this happening tonight?" Or no. <laughs> All right, cool. All All right go on. Up. Next question, because this dude about yeah, that's, that's, that's taking a different yeah. turn. I don't think we want to go down that street. So, All so right. Question three. Okay. <laughs> um, where is the weirdest place you ever shot your shot? Try to holler at someone. Church. Education <laughs> <laughs> Bible School. Run it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't and know the Lord. Is there a weird place that I've shot my shot? Yeah, I, I've only uh, really. Here's the thing. As a man, do you consider any place weird? Because yeah, I can't say there's no that. weird place. I think the, the two weirdest weird. places for me would be the gas station. Like but that's regular. Gas. That's life. Inside the gas station, maybe, but not outside the gas yeah. station. No, no, I don't care if you pumping regular. gas. Inside is weird. I don't care if you having a baby. I don't care if you checking my, <laughs> my vitals because I got a, a, a dentist appointment. It doesn't matter, man. This is my opportunity. That immediate spark of energy between us. If I feel it and you feel it, and she throwing smiles and extra, that little... Just got an extra to oh hey how you doing that ain't got nothing to do with speaking so you're not gonna pull that one on me and then i'm gonna go home and be thinking about man i could have said something i could have no 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 in my mind it's still 1994 okay no cell phones ain't no instagram no none of this this is my opportunity so until my mind passes 1994 i ain't dming nobody you ain't about to be catching me with all these vibes in the dm i don't follow pages of people Mm -hmm. like this I'm not following all this, you know, fans and only and and, and bumblebees and all uh, POA. I none of that. I don't live in none of that world. Congratulations to the people that live in that world. I couldn't exist in that world. I'd be the biggest bozo. So that ain't for me. <laughs> if I see you in person and I get there, I gotta say something. Now you can turn me down. I'm be oh, have have a good day. It's over for me. I take that loss. Oh, I hate when I hate when people be like, you should have said something to me. I'd be like, see? man, see. <laughs> don't y'all all got them stories or uh, you run across groups of people from high school or even from undergraduate oh, yeah. and they wish you would have said something you know the thing is high school there's a couple of girls from high school and they'll be like oh i liked you and i used to be like if you dog me out get the fuck out of here <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, i was I gonna respond and then he did. i flourished after high school <laughs> look i did I what think, i needed to do i think a lot of a lot of, for me at least, is I don't have a problem being rejected. I think people think they hurt my feelings when they reject me. I'd be like, no, that just lets me know you don't want to be with me, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't have a problem with going to holler at your, your friends. Can't take friend. rejection, though. Oh, a lot of men can't take rejection, but that's because they, they're they, they, confident they, in themselves. They're not comfortable in their skin. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, very true. So let's get to the part where some women can't take rejection. Oh, Let yeah. one girl in the group want you, and you tell her no, you are now banned from the whole friend group. <laughs> Come on, just name drop Jake down. <laughs> I, mean, I, would, I would, but I don't want to call nobody. Shut it out. Call out. Shut it out. Stop. I mean, this ain't taking sip. I can think of about I I three it. or four of them right now. I might have said something if we was going to take a sip. Doing that. You know, this is a friendly, this is a family friendly podcast. So I don't want to, you know, I want to make people feel bad. No, you know when when you said women in the rejection thing, the first thing that came to my mind was What's her name? <laughs> hey, okay. oh, what? <laughs> first thing that came to my mind was space. When we played space. Oh, and- <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you talking about the quote me, me in the bathroom? That one? Meet them both. Yes. <laughs> Meet me in the bathroom. <laughs> I lost it. And then I have to sit here and look at these dudes' faces. It's a room full of, it was like seven or eight people sitting at the table. 
and she just going to say this out loud. And she thought she was whispering. <laughs> she was like, hey, hey, Jake, meet me in the bathroom. <laughs> and she was like, hand under the table, grabbing the equipment. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, we're we trying to play spades, man. It ain't that type of party. Well, you know, she was functioning on the on the alcoholic beverages and she just let it all out there. And I had to say no multiple times. And I just, hey, they saw what happened. It wasn't a good situation. It turned almost into a stalker situation. And uh Okay, okay. <laughs> we didn't name drop. I didn't say any names. What was the question? Very specific. What was, what was the question? Rejection. Yeah, rejection. <laughs> we he rejected about her like six I said, times. I said, where's the <laughs> I said, where's the where's the weirdest place you ever shot your shot? He said church. He said There's church. No weird place to shoot your shot. That's a, I don't exactly. Think exactly. I don't believe in like. Oh, hold, look, hold up, hold up. What about at a funeral? No, I shoot my. That's shot. crazy. That's not weird. It's awkward, but it ain't weird. Listen, there we go. I can if I can <laughs> bag it at the funeral. First of all. I'm gonna be proud of myself. Second of all, if she bad, I'm not letting it go by. Because How you know that's like a family? Yeah, but with the funeral, it depends. Who are you shooting your shot at? You if it's like the right? widow or something like that, that's too much. I wouldn't shoot widow. at the widow. I'll that's what I'm saying. It depends. <laughs> I'll give her a day. <laughs> Hold up. Do you know some people find it offensive to shoot your shot at a wedding? because it's supposed to be all about the couple. But yet you got all these bridesmaids and all these friends of yours through life that I've never seen before. I'm supposed to come there and just throw my rice. Like, what are you? <laughs> these are eligible women who are, who are prospering in life. Why would I go back to the streets? <laughs> they right here. That's offensive. Oh, some people well, don't like that. They don't, you know. It's almost like if you propose to somebody yeah. at somebody else's wedding. That is, that is, I think that's ridiculous. That's not, though. that's a perfect opportunity okay. because love is in the air. Everybody's no. happy. Your I, mom's happy. I couldn't do it. I, that's not my cup of tea. Because but remember, they throw the bouquet and they throw the garter belt in hopes of you being the next person to get married. Yeah. So why do that part, but then also find it offensive that somebody proposes at your wedding? See that what, don't matter. But what part of the wedding though? Towards the end, that's okay. It's usually at the, it's imagine the say I do, okay. and then it's like, hold on, I've been wanting to say this for a long time. Pastor, can we get that two for one? <laughs> Pastor, you got that two for twenty? Because we could, we next. After them, we we two, we two and three, we next. Like, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but if it's at the end, the, like the after party, and people are just like dancing, it's, oh, that's fine. But like. It would be so unnecessary to be like, wow, this is really emotional. Look at how she's walking down that aisle. You know what? This is my chance. I think I'm Yeah, like, wouldn't you want your own moment? That is well, that is your own moment. You stole yeah. somebody else's moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably your best moment. That's the and, it, and you know how hard it is for her to say no in that moment? Yeah. yeah. Terrible. She about to let her family and friends down in the church. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be your best chance. You see how many people are here on Instagram and YouTube getting turned down at the mall. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, the mall's like, I, why people, I get rejected. Oh, we can't God. be together after that. I don't know how people get rejected and stay with the person. Once you oh, say, absolutely not. That's yeah. absolutely not. That'd be the last day we even talk. I'm moving, I'm moving my stuff out that day. Like, Spam block delete you from every every type of connection. Can't even like, work it out? No, no, it doesn't work out. She said you no. Said no. <laughs> what what are y'all working out? A hell no? A no. soft no? Like what are y'all working out? The, the no stuff. was letting me know you don't want a future team. Like, that's I'm the not next ready. step. That's the only if step. If you're that's, not ready, that's it. If you're not ready and she's ready, then it's still not gonna work out. I'm not gonna magically yeah. get ready the next day. Yeah. yeah. Like, now I gotta reconsider things like, huh? Well, maybe we weren't at the step that I thought we were. And, and guess what? How many dates did you pay for? <laughs> At that point, you don't pay for two years worth of dates, and now you like that's down the drain. Terrible investment. Oh she God. don't even really want me. How many bills did I pay for? You know what? Else? I'm taking something that's gonna equal value. I'm taking what? Something. I'm taking bundles. I'm taking. <laughs> I know what I'm taking. I'm taking the the kids' PlayStation Five. I'm taking, I'm taking the rest of the cereal in the box. 
especially if it's, if it's uh, Fruity Pebbles and Lucky Chunk, it's gone. I'm taking the milk. I might just pour it down the drain and fill it, have it back up with water. I'm going to stuff. My <laughs> this is how you going to do me? <laughs> that's, so it's, ah, that's tough. That is, that's, I couldn't imagine being rejected on my, like, proposing. I think I would be so angry that the next person that makes me mad, I will probably swing on them so fast. Yeah, you guys. Like, if you house propose house. and somebody says, oh, no, I can't. And then the other person, somebody in the background, oh, she said no. I will <laughs> fight him so fast. And you know it's being recorded live. <laughs> it's somewhere live. Facebook yeah. live somewhere. You, you know how many times you probably have to watch that over and over and over again? <laughs> you have to move and change all your social media. Just Imagine if you told somebody to record it for yeah. you. Yep. On your phone. <laughs> On your phone. Hey, go live right now. Hey, go live right now. Watch what I'm about to do. <laughs> Instagram live. Instagram live. You got 999 people looking on your stuff. Ooh, just to hear you say, you. will you marry me? No. <laughs> uh-uh. It's and it depends over. on oh, how. She said no. Ah. <laughs> the soft <laughs> nose oh, are way rougher than the hard nose. Give me a, you give me a soft no because you're trying to soften the blow. Nah, I need you to say it hysterically. Nah, I would never marry you. I'm like, <laughs> nah, I mean, that's not fair. fair. Okay, I had yeah. the wrong idea. Maybe yeah. I thought something was wrong. But if you give me a soft no, that means you care about me still. I would be mad. <laughs> oh no, you kill no. Don't do it. I'm like, what? Like, no. <laughs> and I start crying. Like, you said no to me. You know how guilty I'd make her feel? I got all these people watching us. <laughs> but what about all them people that was in a relationship for four and five years get turned down on the on the uh when they ask for the marriage and they say no, and then that that girl goes in a relationship for six or eight months and get married. Oh God. <laughs> There's luck. Oh, you, you see, I see a lot of dudes doing this. A lot of dudes will be in a relationship like from high school through college and be cheating or whatever, be single. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they get with the next girl, they don't propose to it. I've seen a lot of that. Right like, how do people do that? It's trifling. Yeah. It's like, oh, I've learned the error of my ways. Yeah. I'm a better I, person. She made me better. It's like, no. That's no. That's you don't think this person so is wrong and <laughs> help holding you down? For somebody so who doesn't even know about you in, in these streets, some people be growing up fast. I don't know. I don't know how that happens. How you can grow up that fast in between one relationship? You trash this person. The next relationship, you're excellent. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but hey, good work. If you can, <laughs> you can make self correction that fast, good That's job. Teach a class. Yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. Would you rather? Get a billion dollars and live, or give up your life and heal every issue in the world. That's not even a real question. Run me my money. Matter of fact, for the Billy Really, you even to think about it. What's the thing about for the Billy Really? You can have two fingers on my right hand. You can have my left leg, and I'll cut my hair off. For the Billy Really, give me that. Come on, come on. So you wouldn't risk your life. No, fuck them people. Do you see who you're talking to? You're talking to three black dudes, and you're going to ask us a question about you wouldn't risk your life. Do you know we got to live in this country? What have, okay, what if we have like family and children? Wouldn't you want them to have a better a better world? That's what the billion dollars is for. Guess what what, is, what is she talking about? They set up for the rest of their lives. It's a Billy Really. We good. <laughs> you are good I, forever. That's not a balanced question. A if billion dollars will know. allow us to, we can move the black community out of the white community. We can a literally, billion. what, a billion? A billion. Like <laughs> self-sustaining. And then everybody still got jobs and stuff? Yeah. Oh, come on, we making money. You got money. this trick off money. How you, I don't even, who trying to heal the world out here? Who's really lying trying to heal the world? Because how no. about this? Can we detail what healing the world is so I can see if this can balance out a little bit? If it gets really rid of funny. all issues of the world, like diseases. We can't, we can't get rid of issues in America. How are we going to fix the world? Yeah, we can't even get rid of diseases that are man-made. I can't even see color. You forgot that one. I can't see color. Are we getting rid of that too? Is that in the pocket of, of healing the world? That's, I need to know. that's implied, I guess. I don't. How about this? Us healing the world 
doesn't give me a guarantee that it won't get back to where it's at. Well, True. the thing I'm is, bro, the world could be fucking oh. fixed and I'm still broke. Why would <laughs> I want that? Hey, <laughs> he right. <laughs> so if you heal the world and get rid of the disease, do you know how many more kids and parents that are leaving their kids around? If there's no diseases, there is no threat of going wrong. Do you know how many people out here that's just going to be loose yeah. shooting? And how many kids is going to be left? We can't do So you see, that will cause another issue. Disease needs to be there. I mean, that's people true. Be smart. That's it, every, yeah, everything can't be fixed. There has to be some level of tier group broken off to some degree. You got to do can... some work to get a good outcome. If you don't work, you might not get a good outcome. You know, and there's going to be some gray areas in between. But to just have it healed? Are we healing? The hundreds of hundreds of trillions of dollars stolen from black people, like is that part of the healing? Or are you just talking about all time? Whatever ASL. your idea of healing the world would be. Well, if I had a billion dollars, my idea of healing the world can be established. With a billion dollars? Yeah. Yeah, I could put the money into the things that I want to be solved, things I want to be because you heal the world, people who don't deserve like uh oh, oh people, yeah. I gotta, you gotta, you gotta phrase this right. Hold on. People who don't deserve <laughs> certain like opportunities or people who, who have already been like held to the standard of like exceptional will no longer feel that way. And then they will then start to act in other ways to still feel that. They'll way. retaliate. So like, all of the people that benefit off of the world he, uh, being sick, those people are now gonna be antagonist groups. So you talking about Big Farmer, all of the hospital, all of the people that continue sickness and just give you a little bit here and there, here and there, but stretch it all out. Those people now don't have a business. You're now up against these people. So again, you're going to create more problems. How about this? If there's only 44 to 48 million black people in the country, you got a billion dollars, you can give all of them a million dollars. And still have money. You can buy each one of them a house and that'll be less than a million. You can go spend $500,000 on each black person by each one of them they own house. Yep. So I mean, I this healing the world sound good. It ain't for me, player. I mean, I was question a too, but even if you yeah, heal the world, I just answered it really quick. It just threw me off. If you heal the world, guess who? When the world goes bad, guess who's still gonna be getting attacked? Black <laughs> people. You healing the world, you ain't changing people's thoughts. If I'm mm-hmm. racist, yeah. I'm I guess I would be like. Yeah. Cause now you just racist without diseases. You an ultra racist now. <laughs> You're super racist. You're super racist. Yeah. Vegan racist now. You hold are. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Now you are. Now you, you are a yogi racist. racist. <laughs> what else they be doing? Vegan racist. Do you know there's people that are racist in ASL in the deaf community? Yes. You know. I'm not surprised. There's people in the gay community that's racist. Yeah. There's people there's in, people in literally every community who is racist. Yes. Yeah. So we, we kind of are we are we a leading anti blackness is literally a part of everybody's every culture, type. every race group. That's the craziest thing in the world, too. It don't matter where you go, what language you speak, the yes. dark people always get treated the worst. And then yes. it's gonna change because you fixing like disease and stuff. They still gonna be killing people who black. Yes. You even think, think about you got to think about it. This is the example that I use all the time when trying to explain things to like my students and stuff. I'm like, by default, the N word is the ultimate racial slur for all groups for some reason. Mm-hmm. By default, you go online and play video games, you don't even know what people look like. They call you the N word. Yep. You like, you don't even know if that was what I look like. You don't, even, you don't know if you're properly being racist to the, the, the identity <laughs> that you think you are. But and you, you still want to use that. And you still use it. Yeah. He's just like, what? And that's the crazy part. It's oh, no. Default. What's even crazier is that's the only derogatory racial slur that people want to have a conversation about. Oh, when everything else is agreed. We're not going to say it. Like, do you, when we did UBS, well, I don't, yeah, because we don't work there no more. I was about to shit on Maricosa. I have to be like, hey, hey, man, I'm hey, right do we need to move on? This guy. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying this. <laughs> Like, share, and subscribe before he about to make his comment. <laughs> if y'all gotta cancel me, cancel me. Don't cancel me. <laughs> but every year at UBSC, the workshop, who can use the N-word? 
Yeah. And every time we'll be like, I don't want that workshop. I don't, but it's always there. You know why? Because white people want to be like, can we say it? Can mm-hmm. we say it? Who can say it? And then, those, yeah. and, and what you get from those workshops is you can say whatever you want. That's all the message that you get from that. And it's like, yep. yeah, you can. There's consequences of what you say. Yes. I don't know why you need a workshop to tell you that you are grown yes, in this world. You should know if you say something, there's a consequence. I don't go to work saying, damn, fuck this job. Even if I hate the job, like, I'm not going to go to work because I know there's a consequence if I say that. Why is that the, different for the N-word? Like, why is that different? Like, you oh, know. Oh, watch this, though. All through your life, how many uh, programs or workshops or any sit-down and discussions have you ever heard being spoken about of who can say the slur for Jewish people? Who can say the slur for Asian people? Who can say the slur for Arab people or Mexican people or gay people or whoever else? All these other groups and subgroups and ethnic groups, why is there, that's never a workshop of whether okay. we can say it or not or who can use it. That's, I've never seen that workshop. If it does exist, people need to keep putting it out there. And because how is it just about the N-word? It's crazy too because <laughs> just like the N-word, I'm not, I say it. So every, every race they use the word, like they try to flip it. But for some reason, the N word is the only word that everybody wants to say. And I'm yeah. like, hmm, that's weird. Cause we don't go around, I don't even want to say the slur. I was about, oh, I almost said it. I almost say it. it. <laughs> I almost said it. I almost said it. I almost said it. We don't go around calling each other what Spanish people call each other or what Jews call each other. We never even tried to, so I don't know why they want to say the N-word. So it's bad. not even a thought. Yeah, it's because blackness is popularized, but it's also demonized in the same, yeah. as extreme as we're like, it's cool to be black. I want to walk like a black guy and blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing. It's like, but I don't want to be a black guy. And it's no. like, well, why don't you want to be a black dude, right? And it's like, well, racism doesn't exist, but you don't want to you don't want to be oh, a black. Guy. There you go. You're telling it on yourself. Like, so let's put two and two together now. Like, you wanna you wanna talk like me, you wanna, <laughs> you wanna de- dress like me, you wanna sound like me, but when it comes down to it, you're like, well no. They want the stuff that's like uh cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hats are cool. The way <laughs> I like your fashion, that's cool. You don't want the fade. You don't want the experience. I want a part in my head. Oh, Those man. Hey, y'all just don't know. If y'all would have lived in the 80s and 90s and to see what happens now, it's just so many things that people really don't realize. There was no such thing as anybody saying what's up before 1999, but black people. And black people had done this for decades upon decades. Nobody gave the dap up. Black people did all of this exclusively. Nobody else did this. You know, TV, MTV, BT, all these other shows where black cultures now put out here in front of the world, everybody started doing it. You're watching Cheerios commercials where they rapping in it now. Yeah. You're watching car commercials and it's all hip hop songs and rapping. Mm-hmm. Whole movie, uh, everything. The whole intro to a movie, the whole soundtrack to a movie that has nothing to do with black people has a whole hip hop soundtrack. Stuff like this never existed. People don't understand Black people was by themselves with tinted windows, rims on their car, and big speakers from the house put in the trunk of their car to ampl- amplify the music. Like this was happening in the 80s. And today, you go to every car lot and those things are standard on cars. Yeah. Wave, wave caps. Black people was cutting pantyhose and putting on their hair. There was no such thing. Somebody manufactured that and now billions of dollars of revenue are going out with that. They got a wave cap out here that costs like $500 at some boutique. It's not even going to black people. That's the thing. Like, yes. all the other cultures are like, oh, you know what we can do? They like this, so let's take what they make and let's sell it. And let's put a black person on the box, but guess who don't own it? Nobody black. All these companies do this. All of them. You'd be like, what? What's going on? Uh, and uh, have you seen the NBA and NFL website? And they both sell Nike-sponsored Black Lives Matter shirts? Oh, I know they do. They got it on the floor. And I'm like, look, I love basketball, so I'll probably never stop. There has to be something really extreme for me to stop watching basketball. But I also know, like, all these owners, they go, they're Trump. 
they're all Trump. So they can put whatever they want to put on the floor. They can say what they want to say. They're all Donald Trump. They're all pro-Trump. Look where that money's going. Look at the people they're campaigning for. Like they could say, oh yeah, Black Lives Matter. But guess what they're doing? They're donating to the people who are literally the opposite. They're literally trying to yes. stop Black Lives Matter. So they can mm-hmm. say whatever they want. I love basketball, so I can get past all that because I know it's bullshit. NFL, way worse. Way yeah, they, worse. They don't they hide it in the NFL. On, they want to put stuff on helmets. You want to put stuff on people's helmets. Kaepernick literally was like, I'm taking a knee because police brutality. He said it. they like, I don't know why he's taking a knee. He literally said it. Mm-hmm. I'm taking a knee for police brutality. He said it. And they're like, oh, no, we're not going to have it. We don't want him in the league. And they signed these white dudes who were high school coach. They signed a high school coach to be a backup quarterback. You telling me that Colin Kaepernick, I don't care if he didn't play for 10 years, He's better and more athletic than this white coach. Than Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow should have never made the league. He was trash. <laughs> he, he a quarterback who can't throw. How you a quarterback who can't throw? He got like 10 opportunities. He and got not on, baseball. And not only can't throw, he uh he can't do nothing good. How, he how about good. He how about they <laughs> he he got what 15 different chances to sign with a team? Then they gave him a TV deal to sit on TV and talk for a few million dollars. Then the pro baseball deal. And he that? continues to be hyped up beyond belief. He got but a black quarterback that can't throw 10 yards is out of the league. Oh, they just benched. Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins. Yes. Who had like his best game for yes. a, the quarterback, Allen. He's trash. I watched the game. He threw like four interceptions. Had like Jared two Allen. fumbles. Yes. Trash and Dwayne Haskins got put to the end of the bench. Oh, so after even... after Allen, they put Alex Smith at second. Alex, Alex Smith, Smith almost just died coach. last year from injuries. Yeah, they don't make no sense. So it's they can, people can say what they want to say, and that's the thing about people say, "Oh, we get." You know what's crazy? People always say, "Let's get rid of all disease." They never say, "Let's get rid of hatred." They yeah, I forgot what the question was. Yeah. <laughs> the billion dollars or I got it now. Got it now. It all yeah. connected. We connected it all. It wasn't a tangent. Yeah. It was it was a little, you know. No, I can I can, I can backtrack all everything. So we're in agreements. We want that billion oh, yeah. Billy, yeah. And we want that billion. Billy. Give me the got money. It. Got it. Okay. Um, what a juicy I, question is that? That was an easy one. Give me some juicy. I need to really make a decision in life. I mean, y'all be answering these real quick. So, um, okay. Uh, everybody up here has degrees. Like, okay. yeah, like we sleep on the street. I mean, she got hurt from a shitty school, but we're not going to say nothing about that. Well, shut up. Hey. 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 I, I just want to say, I got a full ass master's degree. So uh-huh. I mean, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. just, they give they give anybody <laughs> degrees at Dominguez Hills. <laughs> they graduate really? in the lunchroom. <laughs> well, I have nothing negative to say about Dominguez Hills. They paid for yeah, my salary yeah, for a little bit. So uh, yeah. I work there, so I Look, hey man. Go Toros. <laughs> this, this guy's a cheerleader. Next question. <laughs> okay. Well, they want to hire me back. I'll be back. Fuck Dominguez Hills. Wow. He doesn't want to work again. I don't can I ask a question? They can offer me a job. <laughs> I was a hater. I want to go through the girl. interview process. I might yeah. go through the interview process, get the job, just to be like, "Fuck y'all!" Wow, <laughs> I hate that. They're not the ones who who uh, oh. denied. Yes, they did. They, they I got it. I got admitted to every school that I applied to, so I knew it wasn't the grades. They took my admission away and say I didn't have the credits. But I have my AAs, two AAs. I didn't have the credits. How I didn't Not have enough. It's like, oh, you can't get in. All you, you do black. Is you got people who got D's and stuff getting in. My <laughs> name's Jamal. He just took me in when Long Beach denied me. So I'm your correct. name is Angela. Yeah, okay. you white on paper. Angela Harris, that's so white. Oh my yeah, god. Did you not know that? Angela Harris. I am. You know how difficult it was for me? Do you know I'm how hard it is? I appreciate my mother for that. Thank you know how hard it is? They be like, Jaquille, they be like, mm, he black, he black. Every once in a while, they'll think that there's supposed to be a space in between it. 
But is no, it, wait a minute. Is it Jaquil or is it Yaquil? Yaquil. Yaquil. All right, what's your question, Nana? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Oh, we're not going to talk about her climbing out the window after she got caught with her dude? Oh, okay. We're going to bring that story up. See, that's why. Take a sip. Okay. Hey, I was drinking, I would have said some others. Ooh, I'm glad I ain't drink. Let me know when y'all done. Go so ahead. I get ready. Go you gotta dive in there. Go ahead. Okay. Can a man slash woman without money make their partner happy in a relationship? Heck no. Not uh, even close. I think they can. I think a woman can okay. make a man happy in a relationship without money. But you know what she's gonna be doing? Living her life because she's a fully she gonna be doing? Being. Y'all know, y'all all know what she's gonna be doing. <laughs> so, what do we call happiness? Because if, yeah. if you have to dip out, you're not happy, mm-hmm. which I'm calling satisfied. If you're not mm-hmm. satisfied, then I'm gonna say you're not happy. So, if you have to dip out, or you have to have a best friend where you do all the complaining to of all mm-hmm. this stuff you got to deal with because this person's coming with nothing. To right, be me... in a happy relationship, you have to come with something on both sides. You ain't got to have a lot of money, but you can't just have no money and the person got all the money. You out of your mind. Question. Can that you ain't... be happy with somebody if they don't make no money? That's what the question is. No, you said can a man. And I said, I said man a woman. Slash woman. I think they can, but can you personally? Can you? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, she answered that when she said, you got to pay for the date. She already <laughs> answered that question. <laughs> You I see how that's connected? I, if I, I have to pay for the date, then you cannot be happy with a man with no money. You already I, proved it. I think it would lead to insecurities because, you know, when people don't have money, they start getting all bitter. Yeah, no, but... It, no, this is they, how they get bitter. They get bitter when people... I don't want to say a gender who does this, but we know what I'm going to say, so whatever. Wow. When the oh, one gender is like, you broke boy, you ain't got no money. That happens a lot. And that's why a lot of people get insecure. There's some people who are insecure just because they just soft. But like <laughs> if somebody constantly reminding you that you broke and you ain't got no money. Like, matter. yeah, you're gonna be able to Okay, okay, Jamal. What about the person <laughs> telling you this don't even have a job? Oh, because you know they girls, don't have to have jobs. You know how I many girls would be like, Oh, you don't have this? I'd be like, You ain't got it. Yeah, so that so I, I make more I'm, than you. <laughs> we we all know there's a different measurement of what's being called broke for men and what's being cro- called broke for women. We mm-hmm. already know that's out there in the dating world. Everybody knows this, so we know that that's already unfair. And if it's like that, then how can we say that you can be happy without the money? Because you're saying a lot if you ain't got nothing. You're saying mm-hmm. a whole lot. That how means are we defining th- happiness, though. Dating is unfair. I want to define it. Because happiness isn't something that some, I don't think someone can provide you. I think they can provide you with a certain level of like. Life. That's true. There you go. That's, that's why I say it's satisfaction. Oh, look, happiness look. isn't something that somebody can define you. I define happiness. Wow, well, Instagram. That's no, a- boy, I did. This ain't no fault. <laughs> <boy. laughs> don't do that. Don't you got to do this? Look. <laughs> <laughs> But because I'm a poet, don't mean that everything I say has to be poetic. I'm saying I like you're about to do a poem. Yeah, depend on it. So, like, I think, and this is just personal opinion, poetry aside, like, I think that, you know, people can't make me happy. I'm either happy or I'm not. People can make me satisfied or people can increase my happiness by doing certain things or being certain ways. But, like, for, I don't think if, like, if, for me personally, if I'm with someone who's broke, like no money, like I think they can make me happier um, in some ways, but if they had a little bit of money, I think that would make me even more happier or satisfy a little bit more. I'm not really worried about it if I have money, but you flip that the other way around, I think that if I'm broke and I'm with somebody who has money, I think that eventually the happiness for, for them will die out. And it'll always be held against you. And as soon as she get mad, what's coming out of her mouth? You're broke. <laughs> That's what's coming out of her mouth. <laughs> but when you get mad, Some is that what's fight. coming out of your mouth? Yes, yeah, it's, it's coming out of my mouth too. But that's me personally. Because uh, I'll I be like, hear that a lot. I think what it comes down to is like money doesn't dictate the happiness for me. It mm-hmm. dictates my patience. So like, if yeah, you ain't yeah. got no money 
and you asking me to do X, Y, and Z, and I say mm-hmm. I can't do it, and then you got something to say about it, I'm like, you ain't got no money, so don't don't act like you can do these things. But if it's the other way around, where I'm dependent on somebody's money, yeah. I'm not about to be out here like, you better do this, 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 and this, because then, you know, <laughs> she might be like, well, you ain't got no money, and then I got to be like, mm, you're right. Ooh, how much my respect, room now? How much respect <laughs> are you, do you have as a man coming from your woman when you have to ask her for money every day. <laughs> uh, can, hey, can you, can I get your keys so I can- No, I know a couple people. I think I as a person money? though. Can I get some <laughs> money so I can buy me something at the store? You want something? <laughs> How you gonna ask her if she wants something with her own money? Like you, there's no gift, there's <laughs> no- hungry? <laughs> yeah, there's no traveling, you know? So there's some limitations when you have nothing and then yeah. respect, traditionally respect is lost Men lose respect when they don't have the comfort of being able to provide monetarily. So now there's no dates. There's no nothing. There's no excitement. There's no extra. It's just me and you talking and whatever you paying for. Yeah. So there's a lot of, so, so that it's hard to unify like that. It can happen, but that's not what we've seen over time. Yeah. Some, there has to be something on both sides. It doesn't have to be a lot. So for me, it ain't, it ain't even on the table. If you broke, Hey, good luck. Good luck in life. <laughs> okay. okay. Now so you can be I making, can't be with a broke person. You could be making twenty thousand. I'm cool with that. But if you on zero and you're waiting on your next trick and your next your next guy to fool and your next whatever, I can't that mentality is what I can't get with. But if you got zero when I meet you, that ain't really the problem. It's the mentality at that point, because you can build from that. Yeah, you could be in college. You could be at a program trying to get a certificate to do some work. You could be working on beauty salon stuff and doing your own thing. So there's a lot of stuff you could be working on that we could work on together. I'm completely fine with zero to more. What about what about this scenario? Because this would pop into my head because we know some people like this. Oh, what about name them? What about what about people who have actually edit this episode? And this isn't relationship based. This is people based. Oh, your friend. Do he, is he in the military? <laughs> look, look, wait, man, dang. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say they got money, but they refuse to use it because they rather I use other I think we're people. talking about the same person. We probably are. Can but... I get $4? Can I get $4 so I can buy this right here? That that guy? That's the guy you're talking about? I'm just, I just need four extra dollars. Oh, my God. Give me a ride every day, matter of fact. The fact that I bet everybody who's on here knows who we're talking about. It's a problem. <laughs> Go ahead, Jaquil. I'm just saying, like, that, I think scenarios matter too, right? Because if I, like, if I'm with somebody who, who says they broke and I know from the beginning that they're broke and I still choose to be with them, like, uh-huh. I can still find happiness. But if, if that wasn't ever the conversation, like, oh, like, I ain't got no money, but I'm working on trying to get money then that's different. Or are you with somebody who just refuses to use their own money? Now, I can't be with somebody who's broke with no ambition, and yeah. I can't be with somebody who has money and refuses to use it. Yeah. Because they'd rather use my money. That's almost the same category. Yeah, oh, yeah. literally the same category to me. You still broke if you're not using no money? Because yeah. it, it depends on the, like, if we're broke, I can, money don't make me, happy. like, I'm trying to work in education. Money clearly isn't the goal. Wow. Yeah. You're right. It clearly isn't the goal. Wow. I can do something else and make more <laughs> money. But um, the goal is if we're broke or you're broke, you need to do something that's like plan a date that's not going to cost money. Do something that's making me be like, okay, you're trying. Because if you're not trying and you're just comfortable, then we can't be together. Because I understand people are you're like, you're in your 20s. Like, you're going to struggle in your 20s. Mm-hmm. Most people struggle in their 20s. Mm-hmm. If you turn 28, like, I'm not expecting, I'm 28, and I barely just got good. So I'm not expecting somebody who's 23, 22, even 25 to have everything. That's just unreasonable to expect. They've been an adult for seven years. Like, that's unreasonable to expect. But if you're showing no drive, oh, we can't be together. Yeah. You're not going to be 33 and you still working on your associates at Miracosta. And years of just Next question. <laughs> I'm just asking Look, a question. Like, you, can be, you, can be, you can be 35, you can be 30 years old, you know, oh, yeah. 
Like you could be 30 years old and still only have been adult for two years. You know what I mean? Like, mm. and there's some people that we know that have been hey, already talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't so they can comment. I just said, there's people that we know. Y'all are literally y'all y'all are, these no, no, this is y'all doing. Y'all describing the person. <laughs> there's this person, person that I know that wears a blue hat every day that says, Whoa. like, God, hello. <laughs> he We're in, not doing that. 2007, 2007. We added, we're adding little <laughs> anecdotes so that we both understand who we talking about. Oh, no. you got a name about. Look, look, hey, this, hey, it's it's only entertainment. Okay, this is all fun and games. If your feelings hurt, there we go, hey, go. but hey, talk back at me, like talk trash at me in the comments. I, you can't hurt my feelings. So if your feelings hurt, good. Like this is life. Grow up. Oh, you know you can click somewhere else or just write a negative comment or write a positive comment or go thumbs down to Jake. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to laugh. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a back and forth. It's fine. Like, don't don't get your feelings hurt off of this. If that was you, hey, let's, let's let it be you. That used to be you. Be somebody else right now. Yeah. But if you still at that same position, you deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Here's the thing is, I think this is the bigger thing though. We can acknowledge these people who we've interacted with or that we've talked about indirectly, and we still have supported them and helped them through their journey. How about so, that? So it's not, I'm gonna talk shit about you. If I didn't I'm, get my money back. I didn't get I can my name drop, donated back. I can name drop some people who I've put in a lot of money and yeah. effort, time, and energy into. For mm. a long time, and mm. they oh, still ain't well, doing shit. Man drop. Man no, drop. Stop. Uh, <laughs> and I still Go support ahead. them, but I can still say <laughs> they ain't doing shit with their life. And that they need to figure it out. And I hope the best for them. I hope they can figure it out. But mm-hmm. I can acknowledge they ain't doing shit. And some of it's their fault, and some of it's not. We can acknowledge that. Like, I can acknowledge that shit. Whew, that's tough. That's a tough one right there. Wait. All right, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask one last question because we've been on here for a hot minute. Hey, that's it. We just got started. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, is it a, a problem if the person you're dating? I don't know what you. What? Said. Oh, you gonna have to ask that one again. You, the remix came out when you, uh, when you asked your question. <laughs> is it a problem if the person you're dating doesn't contact you in 24 hours? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm the person who doesn't contact in 24 hours, so I'm going to say that it's okay because I got shit that I'm doing. No. Hell no. All right. I'm busy. Listen. I'm a busy person. I got multiple jobs. I'm no. out here doing shit. I'm trying not to. I'm, the, I don't know you. The kill like, is <laughs> you don't need to be in no relationship. Listen, any girl who thinks 24 hours. Bachelor, he be like, why, why are you talking to me? Why you calling me? <laughs> Why you want to hang out? Like, they're your girlfriend. What the fuck? I don't say shit like Why that. Why you want to see me today? I don't do that I shit. I see you all week. Why you want to see me, though? <laughs> I, I call you when I want to Don't, That's don't exaggerate. Me. I call you when I want to I don't say shit like that. <laughs> when I'm ready to speak, I'll, I'll hit you up. That's hey, not how it works. I don't see what the problem is. If I'm, I'm in a relationship with a woman, you can expect to see me just like I pay my bills once a month. So, <laughs> oh, hell no. Anything <laughs> other than that is extra. Look, uh, here's, what? The here's the thing. Look, 24 hours don't mean a lot to me. I just saw you 24 hours ago. What are you no. stressing about? No, I'm not saying you. I'm saying contact. Like, y'all like, ain't talk, morning. nothing. That's it. Like, that's, just it. You that's fine. That's really? It. simple. That's that's fine. I don't need to contact you every day, twenty four hours. Like, like start telling me something when it's been three or four days. Twenty four hours, you look. Oh, come on, that's too far for me. It's too extreme. And honestly, <laughs> this is not going to work because that's extreme. I need listen. I need, I need some space. Like a little hello. I need I need a hello. Yeah. I can say hello back, and that's it. I don't want to see you every day. Mm-hmm. Like if we're not. Well, I don't see. That's the thing, though. I don't like completely not talk to somebody for a whole day. That's what I'm saying. That's the question. I do. <laughs> like I talking, y'all talking in days. I'm talking in years. So <laughs> I, I need I need content because one, I need to know that you're alive. And number two, there's ho 
hoes out here. So if you don't want to like do all this, I can be on these hoes <laughs> and we can be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's I, extreme. I, I don't see, don't see hoes when I'm in a relationship. I'm blind to hoes when I'm in a relationship. That's how I see it. If you're not I didn't say dating, I didn't even say relationship. No. Just oh, casual. dating? Like, dating. Dating? Oh, like, fuck that. Like, 24 like, hours ain't shit. Or dating like courting? Like courting. Yeah, I'm, oh, still going on other date. I'm going yeah. on other dates. I'm going on other dates, so why do I need to talk to you every day? I'm ta- yeah. I'm seeing somebody else. I thought you meant like boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, for instance, if my girl does not hit me up every day, one, she don't care about me. Or two, wow. Yes, because I, it's so simple to say good morning. This sounds like therapy session. It's if not you don't hit me every day. All you got to do is say Ooh. good morning. I think Stop every day is necessary. Conversation. Necessary. Well, if you're in a relationship, I yeah. think you should at least contact them every day. The amount is really dependent yeah, on I'm not saying y'all, all making this seem, y'all making it seem like literally typing good morning. That's not even that many letters. That's it's not an issue. A simple, hey, I'm busy today. Have a good day. That's I'm not an issue. Do that. Good morning. Simple. I'm uncomfortable. Good morning. Good <laughs> night. And y'all now you're assaulting me. Issue. You're assaulting me now. I do that. You can send a gif. Send a, or a gif. Send a gif. That's too far. Good morning. That's too far. Hey, hey, this is not. You're not talking to us anymore. You're talking directly to Jay. <laughs> That's too far. Like you, you're going too far. <laughs> You see what y'all doing? Do y'all not see what y'all doing? You're acting like everybody in the same pool has the same temperament, the same distance that they feel is necessary in a relationship. No, we're different people. I definitely don't want to see anybody every day. There's nobody on this planet I want to see every day. Okay? Now when you're talking about dating somebody, I like to feel some space because it allows me to appreciate your time more and it just... That's so much more magic when you're together. But if I see you every day, all day, every day, all day, there's going to be things about you that start to tick. And I'm I'm, I'm not going to like it. And it's going to make me uncomfortable. And I don't like that. Like, it's too much about people. We all do something within ourselves or how we talk or whatever that may get on other people's nerves. Well, to see and be around somebody on a regular basis and talk to them on a regular basis, these things come out. (laughs) But if you're living with somebody... You don't have to be around them every, like all minutes of the day. Like, That's why grandmamas and granddaddies got two different rooms in the house. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm, I'm with that. Like, we don't need to be around each other. But I need to, like, hello, goodbye. It's simple. Need, yeah, it's so simple. I don't need Ooh, other I can do that. around each other 24-7. I don't have to see you every day. Even when I live with somebody or be around somebody, like, even my sister and brother, if I'm around them all the time, they're going to do something stupid. Like, or something that's gonna piss me off. Yeah, that's, and I that's just yeah. human interaction. But okay. it's simple to be like, hey, and then be gone. Or I'm going here that's today, cool. talk to you tomorrow. Look, or I ain't talking cool. to you for a little bit because I'm chilling, but this is going on, I'm gonna be gone, I'm gonna be busy. That's simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like technology has come so far. You can it's not like the old days where I gotta hit you on the pager or yeah. You see, now you're talking my language. Typewriter. We don't got to do that. Typewriter? No. How about send a letter? <laughs> like, we don't, we don't need to do that anymore. <clears throat> Just to be like, I'm going to be busy today. I'll talk to you when I'm free. That's so simple. simple. What, if you, what if you're not free until two or three days later? Yeah, but you're at least letting them know that, like, ah. you're not going to have no time. You can have a split of free time in your day. Take on, two man. seconds out. No, everybody don't have that type of time. What you mean? You don't need like an hour? You're not 24 hours out of the day. No, it's more about being in the mind frame to give this person what you give them. It's Mm. not about just talking. Like, I don't talk to people just to talk to them. Like, Mm -hmm. okay, my mind is ready to engage in you and the way we talk to each other. If I'm not ready to give you that because I'm busy or my mind is on something else, I got to type this paper, I got to ship these items off from my business, I got to do this at work. That's It's a lot going on. I got to be here. I got to do this photo shoot. All that's going through my head at all times. Even right now, I, there's all these things and lists I got to do after this and tomorrow. So to be in the mind frame of talking to that person, I want to have checked off a lot of that and be clear and be relaxed of the things I have to get done. And then 
days go by in between those things. And that's kind of what, you know, Jaquil was talking about. I, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. No. A whole bunch of people that ain't doing nothing but going to work and going home, they got so much time to just be, hey, so what's up? What you doing now? Which I'm I was I'm doing what I was doing when you texted me earlier today. I'm at, I'm working. I'm like the kill. The thing that I'm saying is you can be hey, look, super, look, it's different though. No, no, you can be super busy, but you can send I'm not saying y'all need to have a full fucking conversation. You text can, messages are easy. Text messages are you know what? Text messages there's some text messages that are fucking saved. Like your phone has it that like, I'm busy, talk to you later. Literally saved. You don't look, have to type it, you just gotta I've never had an issue with texting. My issue is like texting throughout the entire day. See? I'm a busy See? person. See, I go, especially well, when I was. It depends on who you're dating, I guess. You got to make that clear. Yeah, and th- most people that I've dated, they understood, but they still had issues with it. They so. still don't like it. Don't say, nah. <laughs> because like most people. <laughs> Look, I was working. In housing, yeah, you, know, you don't have to say this. No, name. no, I gotta say it. I gotta say it. Working in housing, <laughs> working in housing, working, teaching, going to school, all at the same time while trying to run nonprofit stuff. And you still I, gotta have time to write your poetry. In, in class is when I write poetry. Like, and so in the moments when I do have time to like, like, and I think the big part of what Jake said, because I don't agree with all of it, because it's wild, but like the big part that I agree with, <laughs> the big part that I agree with is like, for me, I don't like starting conversations that I can't finish. And I also don't like starting a conversation just to start one so you can hear me. I'm like, that's what a text message is for or whatever. Like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Like, I don't need the like, what you doing right now? Or what you, like, I don't need, because you know what I'm doing. You knew that when you met me. Like, exactly. I, I got all these things that I'm doing. Uh, Kill, why are you talking about a certain person? I know I'm not talking about. people, not person. People. This is all of them. I've been doing That's a nice little cover up you're trying to pull right there. <laughs> so I'm going to put a disclaimer on this episode. <laughs> you <laughs> you don't got to kill these people. <laughs> I didn't drop any names. I, I didn't say sticky fingers. I didn't drop any names. I, so, you didn't even drop her name. You just said it now. <laughs> you just call it sticky fingers. Nobody, what is, come on. Man. <laughs> That's that funny, all, though. That means all types of stuff. <laughs> so, like what Jaquil was saying, that can become a nuisance to a person <laughs> that's busy. You know you know they busy. I know I'm busy. And you just doing this little thing every day. That can <laughs> become a nuisance. And yeah. it's like, come on, man. Like, let it go. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Like, it, hit me on the third day. And it can't, I think it, that's the thing is like, not that it annoys me. I think it's like, I have no problem responding. It's just like, but when you ask me a question that you know that I, what I'm doing already, I'm almost petty or childish. Cause I'm like, well, I told you that I was working. And then you asked me at two o'clock when you know I get off at five, if what I'm doing and I told you not I'm working. I don't like. Oh, I'm giving dumb answers. I don't like it, ask me what I'm doing and see what I say back. <laughs> You don't want to hear me. Oh, I'm on the toilet right now and I'm eating Roman noodles one by one. <laughs> like what you want me to, don't don't ask me no stupid question. Oh, what what where, where are you at right now? But I oh, I'm I'm on a cloud flying a kite <laughs> next to a Delta Airlines plane. Don't ask me no stupid question. What's what it like why ask that? You know who you got with. Y'all already had conversations. So it's it's almost like a it's like why what are you what's the point? What's the point? This did Jamal act like you are like you are a cop or a firefighter. I have to whoa, know you're whoa, alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You? I said <laughs> say good morning. I ain't say I need to fucking oh call me, ask me what I'm doing. Because I hate yeah. when people what I'm doing. Even even if they don't know what I'm doing. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm grown. But what is wrong with y'all? Is that a thing? <laughs> You I need your that. own life besides your relationship. So I understand that, but she, she can't ask you what you're doing? No. no. <laughs> I should know what I'm doing. God. I just see him look over his shoulder when he said that. He got a little nervous. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll ask me what I'm doing, and if it's stupid, I'll be like, you know what I'm doing. And she can vouch for that. Don't put Aisha on this. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ask me what I'm doing, 
chances are I'm gonna respond. Why the fuck you asking me? None of your damn business. I'm grown. That's or, my response. It's not gonna be a positive. I hate that question. But yeah. y'all making it seem, and I'm saying y'all because both of y'all are really making it seem like I'm crazy for saying. Who? You can text me good morning. You, Jaquil, and Jake. No, I said good morning text. That's just fine. It's what Jake. Is? Hey, but when does it stop? Good morning. Good morning. Is it going to stop right there? I'm alive. I'm alive. We're going to, all throughout the day, it's just going to keep track. You, leave me alone. That, you set those, you set those <laughs> parameters. You let them know, like. He said, leave me alone. <laughs> you basically like, when I'm ready to talk, I'll talk to you. Yeah. No, no, not, no. No, no, no. Y'all not getting it. Y'all not getting it quite right. Is that I have no desire to talk to people on a regular basis, every day, constant contact. I Same. need space in between. Even if you like them, like if you really feel Oh, like I can them. love them. It ain't that you know, that ain't got nothing to do question. with it. I know this ain't Nana question. Do you, would you live in a separate house from your wife? I want my own bedroom if we in the same house. And if she's with it. We got two different houses. We can be on the same Cody sack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm I'm well, with a little, like Frida Kahlo. She had hers connected. Two I, separate. Yeah, I don't know why this is so wild. You know why it's so wild to everybody? Because y'all are all basing this off traditional living, oh, traditional relationships. Why you I'm gotta bring everybody home. in this? Where's the I'm not, I don't even care about I'm like my thing is. I don't have issues with being around people. I think that like, you know, I don't want to talk to people all the time, like mm -hmm. I don't, consistently and stuff. Even when I'm like around them, like, and I think that's the one of the biggest things about being in a relationship is I don't always have to say something to you even yeah. when you're next to me. Like if you, if you got issues with that, then damn, I'm like, what do you want from me? <laughs> There's only so much I can say. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Uh, so much I can say. Like that. Okay, check, check this out. There's people, so I already talked about the space, but now you have to add the part that people that work in the art world. If you're a writer, a musician, an artist, different things like this, you need a whole bunch of space by yourself of your own free thought for your creativity. So you can't have the, oh, let's sit here and watch a movie with me. Oh, talk to me. Oh, keep texting back and forth. You're not responding. It's been four hours you haven't responded because I'm working this idea out and I'm focusing on this and I ain't respond to nobody, but you take it personally. So those mm. things, those type of things, along with my personality, really don't help me in relationships because Same. what people consider space is never like a wide range. It's always this short amount of thing and this is as much space. Anything after that, I'm disrespecting them. I need more space and more time than that, okay? I'm creating things. I can't be sitting here talking to you, hanging out with you in my creative time. It's, yeah, it's think, tough. So now yeah. I'm neglecting you. Yeah, with the, with the creative piece too, I think a lot of it too is like, you know, when when they when you're in that zone and stuff like that, just the smallest thing can throw it off. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, just give me a second because I know like we're together and stuff. So like, I'm going to talk to you. Like we're in a relationship for a reason. Like I'm not just out here ignoring you just to say I'm with you to be with you like I like you and stuff so like when I'm in the zone I'm like oh like I gotta focus right here I can like give me like two three four hours if that's what it takes sometimes it's a whole day depending on what I'm doing and then I'm gonna reach out I was like I just gotta get that shit out like and then to the big thing with like um like communicating and stuff like that it's like I don't I think a lot of people take things personally and rightfully so, right? You're in a relationship with one other person. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I get that you're going to take things personally, but I'm always like, don't, don't act like I'm not doing this to everybody else in my life. Cause I am. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you're still being this. you. So why, what are you surprised about? Or why are you trying everybody. to get me to change this thing that makes me creative? Like this is a part of my livelihood and you want that to change for you personally. I can't y'all should, should have that understanding before hopping into a relationship. But the thing is, you can have that understanding, but that doesn't change the fact that you might be hurting their feelings. And yeah, that's the thing. Like, that person don't need to be with you. If you if you set that understanding, like, hey, I need this space. Hey, I need this. Then they should already they shouldn't be surprised. And if they you know how this works, that all but, and it's not. A, I don't think they're surprised. I think they're just. It's not even a, about a surprise. It's like. <laughs> Things happen. Things are different. They're like, oh, I didn't think it was going to be like this. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It's, well, like, well, it's, no. it's not. Ask all, ask all the dudes that play ball. And, they, and you out of high school, you out of college, and you with your girlfriend, and you go play ball four or five hours a day every single day. Ask those dudes how how bad that conversation is with their girlfriends and wives. Like, you just go play ball four or five hours every day? You did the same thing over and over? It's just a game. Like, how important is that? And do you, you must like them more than you like me. And every now and then, we'll see the girlfriend or the wife show up randomly to make sure and verify this guy really is in here four or five hours. You know, because after we played and everybody talked a little trash, might go get some food, that's a whole lot of time away from your relationship. So when you're not giving that type of time to your relationship and you spending four or five hours playing ball, it always becomes a problem. Talk yeah. to any ball player, and that has at some some point been an issue in a relationship. I think this happens with creators too. You might be in the lab on your computer, and that same time, it becomes an issue. So just because you agree to this and get in a relationship, it don't mean it's not going to be an issue. It's still going to be an issue. Yeah, it's still it's still going to hurt their feelings. And then yes. you being the person that you are, you're like, I want to I want to not hurt your feelings, so I'll adjust as much as I reasonably can, but sometimes the adjustment isn't enough. Yeah. That, then that means that person is not for you. If you said, if you already said, like, hey, this is what I do. Because like, even, I'm going to use me. I need time away from people in general. Yep. So I let people, I will let you know, I don't need to be around you. I'm a morning person. I do so much in the morning. I'm busy. I'm always doing something. That is set from the beginning. So if you have an issue with that, you already knew that before. If you have an issue, it's not going to work. I'm not changing. Like, that's not going to happen. Wow. You hear that? This guy doesn't budge. No, no, I I'm, not just. Changing. <laughs> I'm not changing that. Don't do that. That's a big take. <laughs> <Don't> do that. <laughs> Did you hear that? He don't believe in change. <laughs> don't do that. I'm not he changing. A he hates I'm not going to change who I am as a person. <laughs> that's not changing. Okay. I'll adjust certain things, but like, I do shit in the morning. Most of the time I'm trying to do something or figure out what I'm going to do, it's in the morning. If you have an issue with that, you need my attention in the morning, it's not going to work. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. I wish we could see what was happening off camera or if somebody's <laughs> still in the room. Oh, I want to see the head nods, the yeses, and the uh-uh. What did you say? That's going to be an extra conversation after this. There ain't no extra conversation after this. Somebody might have said some stuff they weren't supposed to. Gonna be some extra conversation. Conversation gonna be how wild y'all are saying. <laughs> I'm me. I don't have to change. All right. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> See? <laughs> See this? All right. All right. Uh, look, hey man, everything can be worked out. I'm fine with working things out. But to take away from my creativity, things that I'm earning money doing, you that now I gotta question you. Like you're not supporting me if you want to keep barging in on my creative process. Now, it's my responsibility to let you know this how much time it takes, this is when I'm doing this, so be prepared for that. So, you know, I may get to you in the second and third day, but that's you. Everybody else I'm getting to five and six months. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm giving you the second and third day. So don't, don't think or pretend that I'm giving other people more time over you. That's so, you know, and, and that has to be explained, agreed upon, and I got to do my part, and then she yeah. has to do her part. And she can't start asking for more because now we're together. Hey, uh, see you next go around because this is going to be over. Bye. I just, it's not going to work. I feel that. Because now you're calling me broke. Because now I got, oh, you know what? I'm not going to work. <laughs> Let me sit here and text you. I'm not going to do my work. <laughs> I'm broke, boy. Now my card ain't going through. Beep, beep, beep. Now my card declined. <laughs> I'm out here dancing for dollars. And then I'm going to text you kill and say, let me get $20. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm That's why I said, say that after. That's why I said, say it after. That ended, man. What, uh, what happened? Uh, hey. <laughs> I, I thought that was regular. I thought, you know, you reach out. Um, That's why I said, tell the story <laughs> after. Because I knew it was going to come back. <laughs> okay. Hey. That was um, the end of my questions. Um, <laughs> Before I close it out, go ahead and plug y'all, y'all stuff. Fair game. Who turn is it? Oh, my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, the blackness. You can check us out on Instagram, the underscore underscore blackness, or go to the website, theblackness.org, and get all these shirts like this, which I design them all exclusively. I have a, a degree in art, so I do all of this. 
myself. So go check it out and find some positive gear. If you like, you like. If you don't, whatever. You know, something's whack to everybody. But I think you'll find something you like. On to Jaquil. I might need them $20, though, Jaquil. So, come on, Jamal. Get it together. These are jokes. Just hold it together. Uh, <laughs> We're going to make it, man. They the kids say, we going to make it. it. Um, follow me on Instagram. I am Jaquil Harris. Um, Jaquil as in J-A-K-E-E-L Harris, uh, H-A-R-R-I-S. Um, also follow my nonprofit, projectspeaksinc.org. Um, and the Instagram is the same as the uh, organization name. Um, new podcast coming out. Um, I'll probably ask Jake, Jamal, uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> to be on the... <laughs> <laughs> to be on the podcast at some point. It's about black educators. She's not a black educator. Yes. Wow. Okay. She's she not. She does anything. They, they just shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, and I'm not answering time. my phone while I'm on the podcast. I ain't returning no text messages. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah um merch is almost out i literally only have like three literally one sweater oh, man. So. oh it's moving okay it, it's okay. moving man it's moving i was trying to uh, get something and it's uh, done. what you what you need oh it's already out <laughs> yeah okay so hey get it while it's hot you know but yeah that's me jamalharris.com if you want some poetry and stuff like that so I'll do on the put in your, your, your uh, Spotify Ooh, playlist. Jamal. Oh, I don't. I can't hear your connection be like you know shitty. Um, wow. So, <laughs> That's two yeah, for two. Now. They both hit you with something. I told wow. you. <laughs> don't let him see see this. <laughs> don't let him divide our family. I know. Stop doing it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have the Radio Raheem playlist or tape. I mess up the name all the time. It's Radio Raheem tape. It's on Spotify, SoundCloud, Amazon Music. I thought about putting it on Apple, but I don't feel like paying Apple because they get enough of my money as it is. Um, we also have a whole bunch of stuff coming out on the Harris Show. We got story time coming out. We just, me and my brother, just filmed like two episodes. Um, we're probably going to talk about the time the girl shit at Jake's house. Um, <laughs> Why was I not there? I need to be there in the story. How y'all going to talk about that? In the you no. are, Actually, I'm going to hit you after this. Hold on. On. And then Come we on. have we have story time. We also have On the Record. Um, Angie Ange has a whole bunch of stuff coming out. So we have a lot of stuff that's about to be dropping. I got to edit a whole bunch of stuff. I hate editing. So I can't wait to get some more bread so I don't have to do that anymore. But that's what we got coming. Uh, but do you respond to text messages while you're editing? <laughs> Angie, Angie. Wow. 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 I don't need to respond to text messages while I'm editing because my laptop, I can see the messages on there and I can just click one thing, boop, 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 and it's in. I'm editing. It'll get sent. Good save. <laughs> Way to save it. Yeah, I know. You already know I was coming back with it. <laughs> wow. This guy's outlandish. All right. Thank y'all for being here. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. And it's like, like two hours long. Anybody that's anybody got offended, come see me in the streets. 